Hello, fellow mech warriors, mage leader here, and we have got some news today, don't we? We have that this came across uh, my desk, came to my attention today. Uh, the article was posted yesterday. Uh, I was out of town, so I didn't see it at the time. Um, but now that I'm back, I have come across this article written by our very own Blaine Pardo, author of most of my favorite Battletech novels. A very skilled author in his own right, a guy whose work I have enjoyed in multiple forms. Even his most recent work, which conceptually I'm not 100% on board with, I still found to be entertaining story, if nothing else. Um, talking about his book, uh, Blue Dawn, that came out, uh, I want to say, a year or so ago? Uh, maybe I'll do a full review of it at some point. Uh, but suffice to say, I found it to be a decent book, all things considered. He has been removed from Catalyst uh, Game Labs. He's no longer a Battletech writer. They have officially canned him. The individual who was making the smear campaign has won a victory, it seems. Has screeched loud enough and got their supporters whipped up in enough of a frenzy that we have some successful cancel culture here. So, to be completely uh, clear about this, the issue with Pardo is that he is a conservative on the political spectrum. He writes books with another publisher, which uh, reflect that. It does not bleed into his work for Battletech in any way. It has never affected any of his writings for Catalyst. It's never been an issue. Uh, the higher-ups at Catalyst previously had told him that it wasn't an issue until today, when suddenly, it's an issue again. So, we're going to go through this article here, just kind of get the basics of it. I'll, I'll probably, I'll, I'll just read it, um, but it's, it's a really interesting thing, so let's get right into it. So, he says, for those who don't know me, I'm an award-winning, best-selling author in numerous genres. I've been a speaker at the U.S. Naval Academy, the National Archives, and the Smithsonian on the subjects I write about. I started my writing career in science fiction for a series called Battletech. Battletech has been made into a cartoon series, video games, board games, and novels about gigant, uh, giant robotic war machines called Battle Mechs. Catalyst Game Labs is the current license holder for Battletech, which is licensed by Tops and Fanatics. After 37 years of writing for the series, I found myself cancelled for voicing my conservative beliefs. In January 2021, two people complained to my publisher asking that books I wrote be pulled from publication because they allegedly contained hidden Confederate messages. Catalyst Game Labs responded that my political beliefs didn't matter as long as they were not in their novels. After a lengthy review of the books in my social media accounts, the company found no political messages hidden or otherwise. They offered one of the protesters an opportunity to publish a short story in hopes of appeasing him. I warned the company that the man was an online stalker who had been harassing me for nearly two years. Later, law enforcement would discover that this man was using a false online persona, that of a self-proclaimed lesbian nurse who was adopting two children. Catalyst Game Labs ignored my warnings. In March 2021, my first conservative political thriller, Blue Dawn, was announced with a different publisher, Defiance Press. Outraged, my stalker contacted a fellow writer with the following directed at me. Quote, I want to fucking shoot him in the fucking crotch for this shit, end quote, and quote, I want to die, I want him to die in a fire, end quote. Police got involved, and after an investigation, a judge put a protective order in place because of multiple death threats. In reality, my harasser was a 39-year-old man living with his parents. He had been fired by his previous employer for issuing terroristic threats. He was charged and pled guilty. The man was a convicted criminal. I moved on. To coincide with the release of Blue Dawn, I wrote articles for conservative websites such as American Thinker, PJ Media, Town Hall, American Greatness, and others. I made it clear to Catalyst executives that I would mention my stalker in some of these articles as an example of woke extremism. Catalyst's president replied, quote, I would do the same thing if I were you, end quote. 
When my last Battletech novel, No Substitute for Victory, was released by Catalyst in February, my stalker and a small handful of people once again complained to Catalyst, Tops, and Fanatics. They took numerous statements from my social media out of context to paint me as an insurrectionist, a seditionist, and other outright lies. The Spear campaign was led by a, the man who had threatened my life. I was told the Fanatics asked my publisher to make this go away. My publisher's solution was to inform me that he would no longer publish my work. I asked if he had verified that the protest was not a handful of people using sock accounts to make their cause appear larger. He told me he had not checked, and that it didn't matter anyway. It also didn't matter that the quotes in question had been taken out of context or fabricated. I noted how other Catalyst contract authors and artists voiced radical, progressive opinions far more offensive than anything I had ever posted. My publisher indicated he would talk to some of them. Conservatives tend not to complain while the left sees offenses everywhere. He informed me that my beliefs were alienating half of his customers. I pointed out that sales and ratings for my latest novel were on par with previous works. He then told me that sales didn't matter. I offered to write under a pseudonym like several of his other offers. He refused. Then I pointed out the most egregious aspect. You were literally siding with a person that threatened the life of one of your most productive and popular authors. Ignoring that, he had assured me that he would communicate his decision to release me to the fans. He never did. To be clear, my views are not especially radical. They are the same opinions held by tens of millions of other Americans. While I was getting the Gina Carano treatment from Catalyst, I was proud that I didn't cave to the Warp Warriors. Such corporate knee-jerking to a minority of left-wing woke whiners does alienate fans, conservative fans. This is simply censorship. It can happen to any conservative who dares voice his opinions. As a result, my many fans will no longer see my work in Battletech simply because the publisher feared online backlash. Meanwhile, his extreme left-wing authors can spew their venom without fear of retribution because conservatives don't whine or threaten or complain on Twitter. So, that's, that's the gist of it. Uh, the long and short of it is that he was fired because somebody made a stink online that they didn't like the way he thought and the way that he talked. So that is uh, the current situation. I find it very disappointing, to say the least, that that is the track that Catalyst took. Uh, initially, when the situation was starting to spiral, maybe a year or so ago, a little more, um, they had taken his side and said, there's nothing here. So that's what the article itself says. Um, also, a little side note here, I hope you'll bear with me, it's a beautiful Saturday morning, which means that everybody in the entire state of Maine is out on their motorcycles, so <laughs> there's going to be a lot of that in the background. I'll try to keep this as clean as I can, but it's going to be a little messy, and it's going to be jittery and jumpy. I'm going to be ranting, I'm going to be going all over the place, and this video might not make a lick of sense, so buckle up, because here we go. We've got here a successful uh, cancellation attempt. We have cancel culture at work. Don't let anybody tell you that it isn't real, because here it is. It's happening right now. Mr. Pardo's uh, political opinions and views are not super radical. They're nothing that should get anybody removed from their employer. They haven't affected his work for the employer, by the employer's own admission. There is no reason for this other than they want the problem to disappear. But that's the, that's the exact issue. It's not going to disappear. Right? Because it's never enough. It's never enough. Because, sure, He's not working for them anymore, but he's written a bunch of stuff for them, right? So the people who are responsible for this will know what's the next step. Well, we don't want his work as part of the setting anymore because, you know, he was a bad person. So that means that the stuff that he wrote is also tainted by his views. That needs to go next. And then it becomes a case of, well, anything that they don't like in the setting is a result of him. It has his fingerprints on it. And so that needs to go as well. It will become a weapon that they will use to bludgeon Catalyst with until they give in to every single demand that they have. When you give them an inch, they will take a mile. The solution is not to cave. The solution is to stand your ground and tell them to fuck off. This is a really stupid decision that they've made. And 
I am positive it doesn't come from a place of malice. I'm positive that they think that this is just how they get the issue to be resolved so that they don't have to worry about it anymore. But this is a message to you directly, Catalyst. It's not going to stop. It's only going to get worse because now they smell blood in the water. They know they can push you around now. They know that you'll cave. They will keep pushing until they get every single thing that they want out of you. Because it's not enough that he's gone now. It's not going to stop there. I have to take a pause for a second and recollect my thoughts. This has made me unbelievably angry. I can't even begin to describe just how livid I am to see this sort of thing happening. Mr. Pardo has contributed a lot to Battletech. He's a big part of the reason it even exists as it is today. He's one of the biggest reasons that I'm even into it. You know, between him, uh, MechWarrior 4, Mercenaries, and Razor Fist, those, that holy trifecta is why I like Battletech. Those three things. And, <laughs> you know, Piranha took a dump on one of them with MechWarrior 5, and Catalyst has canned uh, Mr. Pardo. There isn't a whole lot left to it for me to enjoy. And, uh, Blaine has said on his Twitter that he, uh, doesn't encourage a boycott because it won't fix the issue. I would agree with that. I don't think that a boycott is going to fix things. I don't think that we have enough economic pull to really make a difference there, especially with how niche Battletech already is. But I don't give a damn, I'm doing it anyway because I don't want them to have my money. Regardless of whether or not it gets him his job back, that's, that's irrelevant to the reason why I want to do it. I want to boycott Catalyst because this is shitty behavior, and I don't pay people who treat other people like shit if I can avoid it, or if I know about it. So, starting today, I'm no longer shilling any of their products. I will not be showing myself painting their miniatures on stream. If I am painting a miniature on stream, it will be a 3D printed miniature. I am not going to review any of their books that are coming out. I am not going to encourage people to buy their uh, lance packs. As nice as those miniatures are, I am going to uh, be encouraging people to locate pe uh, STLs and 3D printers, find someone in their community who can print off miniatures for them. And as the price of 3D printers uh, continues to fall and they become easier to use, that is going to be uh, an easier thing for me to push for new players. I will no longer be directing them towards Catalyst's products. It's... this is a bridge too far, and I don't want them to have our money. Now, what you decide to do, if you want to keep buying those packs, if you want to keep buying the books, that's completely up to you. That's your money. You put your money wherever you want to put your money. But here on this channel, Catalyst has become a pariah, as far as I'm concerned. This is just too much for me to, to look the other way and say, well, at least the minis look cool. Yeah, the minis do look cool, but they don't care about Battletech. They'll take one of the guys who contributed to it for the better part of 40 years and throw him under the bus in order to escape a little bit of online controversy. You know, they don't, they don't care about what the fans think. The fans love what Blaine has done. They love his work. They love his books. They want him to write more of it. They want him to stick around. But does Catalyst care? No, all they care about is that little bit of publicity and avoiding trouble with their higher-ups based on unrelated things that have nothing to do whatsoever with Battletech itself. So if anyone from Catalyst is watching, you're already screwed up with Ill Clan. That era is a train wreck, and I'm tired of dealing with it anyway. After the thing that I saw in the forums with the very flippant dismissive attitude toward people who like Rosselhog, which was what I disliked about it more so than the actual content. This attitude toward, we don't care what the fans think, we're going to do what we want anyway. And then within days of that, to immediately come back around and see this happening. 
I'm done with you guys. I'm done with you. I do not care what you put out from this point forward. You've screwed up. But that doesn't mean that I'm done with Battletech, because that's the beautiful thing about Battletech. It's bigger than Catalyst. Catalyst holds the license right now. But, Battletech has been around since before they got hold of it, and hopefully will be around after as well. So, you can still enjoy Battletech without having to worry about Catalyst. As far as I'm concerned, they're up there with WizKids. The stuff that they make, I don't care about it. You know, I, not to be that guy. Well, I've always been that guy. Battletech stops in 3067. The Fedcom Civil War is the last era of Battletech, and everything from that point on, as far as I'm concerned, isn't canon. It's all trash. It's written by companies that don't care about the license and the franchise itself, the overall story. They don't give a shit. It's just about doing what they want to do with it. And, you know, fuck what anybody else thinks. And fuck the fans. We don't care about the fans. We're going to do our own thing. That attitude has been around for a while, and this is just the most extreme example of it that they've put out. We don't care what the actual fans think, we care about what this tiny little outrage mob in a dark corner of Twitter has screamed about. And that's what's most important to them. Yeah, you know, it clearly shows that their priorities are just not in the right place. But I've ranted about the negative aspect of it for a while. It sucks, I'm angry about it, but more so than that, uh, Blaine is handling this like an absolute champ. He really is. But, you know, it's it's difficult, it's gotta be difficult for him. If you've ever talked to him, uh, you know that he loves Battletech and that he's enjoyed being a part of it. It's gotta be really tough to see it go away, especially for such stupid reasons as this. So, what I would encourage you guys to do, uh, do what you want with your money. If you want to keep buying Catalyst stuff, go for it. That's completely up to you. I won't think any less of you. They make good product when you can get hold of it. You know, the minis are great. If you're if you're in with that, go for it. But what I would like you to do is go find uh, Blaine Pardo on whatever social media you use, if any, and just give him some support. Let him know that you, know, you stand with him. You think that this is a shitty place, you know, a shitty situation that has befallen him, and let him know that there's people out there who still appreciate everything that he's done and will continue to do so. Just show him some love, guys, because it's gotta be, it's gotta be really tough right now, and he doesn't deserve that. He deserves so much better, and don't go, a lot of you know who the person is who's responsible, don't go and harass that person, that will only make it worse. If you're thinking about doing that, don't. Go over to Blaine instead and let him know. Like, don't, ju don't just say a generic, you know, oh, I really like your stuff. Give him something specific. You know, w w when I made my last video on Pardo, I brought up Highlander Gambit because I love that book so much. You know, pick out a book that you like by him. Let him know that you love that book and why you liked it. You know, give him something more than just, you know, oh, man, this sucks. I, I like your stuff. No, no, put some effort in, you know? Let, let's actually show him rather than just tell him why we appreciate him so much. I think that that's the best thing that the Battletech community can do right now. And that's the long and short of it. So go show him some love. And Catalyst, if you're watching, fuck you. And until next time, this is Mage Leader signing off.